dear students this christmas even in the midst of the challenging obstacles that life has thrown at us due to the pandemic there is hope life is too short for us to allow it to pass us by god created each one of us with a plan and a purpose god loves you and has blessed you so you can be a blessing he wants to make you a greater blessing to your family your loved ones and to all those you come in contact with each day be a source of strength and comfort to those who may not be as blessed as you are speak words that encourage others and add value to their lives find ways to bring joy to the lives of those around you this christmas may your heart be filled with love and hope wishing you and your family and loved ones a merry christmas and a blessed new year thank you the bible reading has been taken from luke chapter 2 verses 1 to 16 in those days a decree went out from caesar augustus that all the world should be enrolled this was the first enrollment when pirinius was governor of syria and all went to be enrolled each to his own city and joseph also went up from galilee from the city of nazareth to judea to the city of david which is called bethlehem because he was of the house and lineage of david to be enrolled with mary his betrothed who was with child and while they were there the time came for her to be delivered and she gave birth to her first born son and wrapped him in swaddling cloths and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn in that region there were shepherds out in the field keeping watch over their flock by night and an angel of the lord appeared to them and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were filled with fear. And the angel said to them, Be not afraid, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy, which will come to all the people. For to you is born this day in the city of David a Saviour, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find a babe wrapped in swaddling cloths and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace among men with whom he is pleased. When the angels went away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go over to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. And they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. Christmas is a time of great joy. Christmas is when we celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ. God sent his son, Jesus, into the world to be born. His birth brought great joy to the world. 
the wise men shepherds and the angels all shared in the excitement of knowing about this great event they knew this was no ordinary baby the prophets had told of his coming hundreds of years before jesus was born so that price could be paid for our sins jesus came to die on the cross for all our sins jesus story is one of truth love and hope that brought salvation to all humanity so here we are presenting the christmas story just for you we are about to enjoy a story that has been told and retold for 2000 years the nativity reveals something very special about god that he was prepared to be with us and live among us just over 2000 years ago when we most needed him god came down to be with us to save us and show us how life should be lived he could have chosen anywhere to be his home he could have built a palace for himself that would have made the grandeur of the roman empire seem like nothing but he didn't god chose to send his son to be born among the forgotten the overlooked and the poorest this is the story of how god came to be with us The story opens with a young woman in her home, Mary. She was from a town called Nazareth, and she was engaged to be married to Joseph. But to God, she was very important. So important that God sent an angel down from heaven with a message for her. Hello to you. You are very special. God is with you. But Mary found it hard to understand why the angel had come to see her. She was just an ordinary woman. She worried what the angel meant by the greeting. Seeing that she was scared, the angel said, Don't be afraid Mary God is very pleased with you he will give birth to a son you will call him Jesus he will be called the son of the most high I'm not yet married I'm a virgin how can I have a son I don't understand the holy spirit will come and his power will give you a baby people will call him the son of the god i am a servant of god i believe it will happen as you have said god is lord yes i am Before your holy throne I stand With outstretched arms and open ears I rejoice that the words I hear You have done great things for me You've exalted the glory And now I have come before you my king my heart begins to sing my 
All generations look to me Before your wondrous day to me Merciful you have been always From the beginning of my days My soul magnifies The angel departed, leaving Mary excited about the news of the baby, and she told Joseph, the man she was about to marry, all about it. But the Roman Emperor Caesar Augustus, who ruled over the land, sent an order. Come every single person of the country. We so everyone, including Mary and Joseph, had to go back to their hometown to be registered. Joseph came from a faraway town called Bethlehem because Mary was engaged to be his wife. She came with him to Bethlehem. When they arrived in Bethlehem, they knocked on every door in the town, looking for a place to stay, but everywhere was full of people. Each time they were given the same answer. Lots of people had come down to be counted, so the town was full. There were so many families to accommodate. Mary and Joseph nearly gave up, but then they tried the very last guest house. Please, please, help. My wife is about to have a baby. Do you have a home? Please. No. No, I don't have any room. Do you have a room, sir? No, no, no. I don't have any room. It was a very difficult place to bring a new life into the world. Dirty, smelly and unhygienic. But Mary and Joseph made the best of it. When the baby came, they wrapped little Jesus in the clothes they had. They didn't have anything to put him in. So, they placed the Son of God in a manger, a trough that is used to feed animals.
Meanwhile, in some fields nearby, a group of shepherds were keeping watch over their flocks. It was night time and they were surprised, to say the least, to see an angel of the Lord appear in front of them. The glory of God shone all around the shepherds and they were terrified. You see, these shepherds were just ordinary people going about their daily lives. They weren't considered very important. Nobody took much notice of them. So they were surprised when the angels spoke to them. Don't be afraid. I bring news of great joy. Good news for the people across the world. Today, in Bethlehem, a savior has been born. You will find a baby lying in a manger. Well, if this wasn't enough for the humble shepherds to take in, the angel was soon joined by a huge group of angels called the heavenly host. They said, Glory to God in the highest heaven and peace on earth. The angel left and went up to heaven. The shepherds wondered what they should do next. What shall we do? Let's go to Bethlehem. Yes, then we can see what has happened. I want to see what the Lord has told us. So they hurried off to seek Mary and Joseph and the baby which they knew they would find lying in a manger. They found the stable where the young couple were and the shepherds went in to see the baby in the manger.
Sometime later, more people came to visit, but they didn't come straight to the stable. These three important people, sometimes called kings, sometimes wise men, were Magi. And these were very clever people who knew all the secrets of the stars. They knew from examining the heavens that an important event was taking place. A bright star rose in the sky. They followed the star to worship the person whose birth it foretold. They knew that the star heralded the king of the Jews. And where would a king be born? Yes, they went straight to the palace, but they didn't find him there. Then they saw the bright star ahead of them and again followed it until it stopped over a stable where baby Jesus was born. The wise men saw the child and they worshipped him. Each of them brought a special gift to give to baby Jesus. of them give Jesus a precious gift and that's why we give gifts at Christmas particularly to poor and needy people they went home even wiser realizing that precious things are worth far more than money and are not always found in the richest places they realized that they should offer their wealth to Jesus the Son of God born into poverty, who is a friend of poor and needy 